President Barajaglio says some parliamentarians have lost sight of the context in which the 2009 budget was crafted and are making wild suggestions during the ongoing debate. And the President says re-equipping and re-energizing the Ghana Defense Force are top priorities, as is evident with the security sector's budgetary allocation this year. And the Housing Ministry is reviewing its eligibility policy for issuing house lots to include single persons without children. And of course, we will bring you the latest sporting action in the Diamond Mineral Water and NCN Sport News and more in tonight's news. Good evening, I'm Delisi Fletcher. And I'm Paul Moore. This is this edition of the 6 o'clock news for today, Thursday, Jan February 19, 2009. Here's what's happening, Paul. Thanks, Delisi. President Barajagdu says he's disappointed that some parliamentarians have lost sight of the context in which the 2009 budget was crafted and are making wild suggestions during the ongoing debate. He noted that the estimates were drafted as an economic policy to safeguard welfare and growth in light of the challenges of the current global crisis, which can last for up to seven years. Edward Lane reports. President Barajagdio has expressed disappointment with a presentation made by some parliamentarians on the 2009 national budget. He believes that as legislators, they should have been working with the executive to preserve the welfare of citizens and stimulate Ghana's development. But the first thing is that what are people saying? Fiscal stimulus package. We should have a fiscal stimulus package. And it is just parroting what is happening in some of the developed jurisdictions of the world. Mr. Jagdio notes that this is inappropriate at this time since the impact of the crisis varies in the developed and developing world. He adds that a stimulus package could be counterproductive for countries like Guyana. The head of state says this year's budget is what government sees as a necessary response to the crisis. He cites increased spending in priority areas to help create jobs for some who are at risk of losing their jobs. Mr. Jagdeo has also commented on calls made for the reduction of the value-added tax, which he said is inappropriate. And this is why I've argued that there is no balance in the debate. It's done as though it is children, children, child's play. They're throwing out of ideas just like that without any attempt to analyze their impact on the macro variables or the development prospect in this country. Edward Lane, the 6 o'clock news. The Housing Ministry says it is reviewing its eligibility policy for issuing house lots to include single persons without children. This was disclosed by Minister Irfan Ali as he made his presentation on the 2009 national budget in the National Assembly. Minister Ali said the ministry is now better able to begin distribution of house lots to the 40,000 applicants. He said the housing drive would be enhanced as government continues to identify suitable lands in the regions to create housing schemes. President Barry Jagdio says re-equipping and re-energizing the Guyana Defense Force are top priorities, as is evident with the security sector's budgetary allocation this year. He made this comment at the opening of the Army's 2009 Officers' Conference today at Camp Ayangana, where he stressed the need for the joint services to remain focused on crime fighting. Edward Lane, once again. Mr. Jagdio urged the GDF to remain focused on training its members academically and cited his administration's strong support for this. Reflecting on 2008, the president highlighted that the army and police collaboration was successful in crime fighting, citing the dismantling of the fine man gang. He, however, reiterated his position that the forces should not become complacent as the face of crime is changing. The president noted that while there might be criminal marauding with heavy artillery, focus must be placed on money launderers, drug dealers, and those stealing from the treasury. So I expect that we will continue to focus on the fighting on fighting criminals, that we will better hone the, the excellent collaboration that we have established in the joint services at another level within my office. We're working together with your Chief of Staff and the Commissioner of Police and the Ministry of Home Affairs on crafting a comprehensive national defense policy strategy. 
This, the President says, will support the Army's defense strategy, noting that Parliament will be involved at the correct stage. Time, because defense security matters are purely within the realms of the executive, but we wish to have the legislative branch of the government also have an input. The document will focus on every area of security, ranging from traffic to border security. Meantime, Chief of Staff Commodore Gary Best says effective budgeting and stronger military values are some of the Army's top priorities for this year. He also highlighted stronger Joint Services collaboration in 2009. I have also asked the Commissioner of Police to identify one or two police officers to train as helicopter pilots as we recognize more and more the strength and potential of the Joint Services. The officers' conference ends tomorrow, February 20. Edward Lane, the 6 o'clock news. PNCR executive member and prime ministerial candidate for, the, candidate for the 2006 elections, Winston Murray, has denied any move to leave the PNCR. Murray, in response to an NCN report last evening, said he's not teaming up with former education minister Dr. Richard Van Wyss Charles to take over the leadership of the PNCR. Edward Lane reports. NCN was reliably informed by a senior official of the PNCR two days ago that Winston Murray was contemplating leaving the PNCR altogether after an ongoing rift since last September between him and party leader Robert Corbyn. But Murray has now denied these allegations and noted that his absence from the budget debate was due to another engagement. Very firmly a member of the PNC. And whatever it is I want to say or do will be within the framework of the PNC. The source had also told NCN that there were talks within the party that Murray is moving to team up with Dr. Van West Charles to challenge Corbyn for the leadership of the party, another allegation he denied. I am not teaming up with Dr. Van West Charles to promote his candidacy if he is uh, pursuing a candidacy, candidacy to be leader of the People's National Congress. It's simple as that. When asked why he refused to comment on the budget presentation two Mondays ago, the shadow finance minister said he was not prepared at that time. However, it is perceived that there is an ongoing rift between Corbyn and Murray following his public support of the Jack Deo's administration's stance on the EPA with Europe. This reportedly led to Murray's resignation from the chairmanship of the PNCR. However, he maintains that he remains committed to the party. However, rumors are now afoot that the likely challenger to the leadership, attorney at law Basil Williams could be headed for some friction with the hierarchy of the PNCR. Edward Lane, the 6 o'clock news.